So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to take and see if I can put together some of these copper fittings. This is an inch and a quarter line. Out of the generator, we're going to try and take it and plumb the water, routing it up into the ceiling on the pipes over to the HVAC system. If we can get that to connect, we can take and use the hot excess water that's keeping the generator cool to help warm the building by going past the old HVAC. Now we still have the Mitsubishi electric mini splits, which will do fantastic in a really low voltage requirements, wattage requirements, but this will also just mean we're not wasting temperature. Let's see if we can make it happen. What a beautiful day. got these things where we kind of sort of got them. Um, you got to get a little bit of the uh, <laughs> food out of the sink. But we'll see if we can make these a little prettier and clean them up a little bit. One of the things that actually works pretty well on cleaning up this stuff, surprisingly enough, is Barkeeper's Flint. solder will go where it's supposed to. Okay, just a little bit of scrubbing and it's already looking a lot better. Again, it doesn't really matter as far as how it functions. What really matters is if I got uh, solder into the right places, but it makes it pretty. And uh, if you're going to do something, you might as well do it the best you can, right? Okay, let's take a look at that. Just a little bit of scrubbing on one of them. Hard to tell. Yeah, a little better. There you go. All well, the guys are outside uh, catching a bunch of black sea bass. That's what we had for dinner last night. It's really good. Okay. I think that's good enough. Good enough for government work, considering this was government work at one time. Uh, we're not doing any drinking water through these, which if you were concerned about that and the solder. These are just purely for uh, cooling off the uh, generator. All right, so we got a couple down pipes. Yes, I know, I could have used 90s. I didn't have 90s. You got to MacGyver it out of here a little bit. Yep. Well, they hold a little bit of pressure. Let's go put them in place. All right, so I've taken and I've cut some strips of 180 grit sandpaper. 180 and I'm going to take them and clean off these pipes up high pipes up high are where we actually have the water lines heading off and there's one and there's the other and one of the things we have to be really careful of out here is well not falling off the ladder and if there's any fiberglass or any other types of goodies that are gonna get us so Put on a mask here in a second, sand those a little bit, and see if we can put a torch on it and connect up some pipes. Uh, we're, it's going in for sure. Sucking into the joint. Way more than I need. I think that's got it. This is part of the don't want to wear it on my belly part. Okay. We're there. Let it cool down. We'll put some caps on these. We'll put some pressure on it. Do some air pressure and uh, put a gauge on it. And we'll see how it is after either minutes or hours. The goal here is when we have just the normal pumping action it's not a pressurized system, it's just pushing it through with normal restrictions of the heat exchanger on the other end. It'll come back here, it'll drop into a holding tank and then be drawn out of the holding tank. So it's an atmospheric tank. Um, we'll see how it goes.
getting there.